Pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors uh, are an important test question. Now, if they are functional, they need to be removed. They need to be resected. If they are non-functional, other features such as size matters. So if they are smaller than one centimeter, they can be easily washed. If they are two centimeter or bigger, most likely they would need surgical intervention. Uh, any neuroendocrine tumor, one to two, they look at your risk factors and other uh, risk factors for the tumor and tumor biology to make that decision. Now, an important question would be, what can be enucleated versus what would need a Whipple or a distal pancreatectomy? So in that regard, it should be a small tumor. So that's number one. Number two, you need an MRCP or a EUS which shows how far is this tumor for your main pancreatic duct. If the tumor is far away from your main pancreatic duct, you can safely do an enucleation. If it involves the main pancreatic duct or is very close, then you have to do a formal resection. For example, in tail of the pancreas, it may be just easier to do a distal pancreatectomy because the tail of the pancreas is usually very thin anyways. So even a small tumor may be just very close for you to enucleate it. So size and then its relationship to the duct before you decide resection versus enucleation.